You are listening to the O'Brien and Bolt Podcast. And it is Christmas, Hanukkah, the holidays, lots of parties going on. And on the phone right now, I have an author, um, an expert, a person who's written a book about parties, if I'm not mistaken. Hello. Hi. Can you hear me? I sure can. How are you? I, I'm just great. I'm so glad. And happy you're... holidays to you. Well, thank you very much. And, and yours. Thank you very much. Uh, I'm sorry I didn't get your name. My intern quit. Don Holiday. Don Holiday. Well, that's great, Don. That's a coincidence. That is a coincidence, Don. Uh, my who, would have, who would have guessed that Don Holiday ends up writing a, really a, a compendium of a book on uh, parties, uh, anything and everything you ever wanted to know about uh, parties, holidays, uh, birthdays, uh, surprise, uh, hosting parties, going to parties, leaving parties, getting there. What to bring and just uh, wow, that's it's seven thousand pages. I think well, it is a compendium. There, it uh, it's not a small book. Let me tell you, it weighs about forty fifty pounds. Takes up about twelve feet of shelf space. It's only four inches tall, but still, if you put it all together, it's about thirty three pounds. Well, this is this is uh, sounds like a master work, uh, Mister well, Mister Holiday. So let me well let's start. I didn't do it all by myself. I had uh, I had some help. I had some interns and whatnot. Well, great. Well, I had an intern, but they didn't show up today. I think because they were probably at a party, and so that's why I didn't know your. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Uh, that's, why the, that's why I didn't have your name. I didn't know. So tell me, let's start at the beginning. <laughs> I bet they were. So, me? so, Don, let's start at the beginning. Now, wh- who uh, invented the party, or where did the concept of a party come from? Well, I imagine it was uh, somewhere around a campfire, and somebody got the fire going, maybe, and everybody said, yay. Uh, the, the book is... Mostly about contemporary parties. It I doesn't see. go back to uh, the history. There is some history of parties, but uh-huh. not. Uh, there's a little uh, the history of the birthday cake, uh, uh-huh. but that's just I focused on the three layer, mm-hmm. so I don't have a whole lot uh, there. Like I said, it's seven thousand pages, but I couldn't cover everything. Well, you might have a second volume coming out, it sounds like, at some point. But getting, getting back to your uh, compendium, uh, tell me, what, then, what makes a successful party? What do you think? What, what ingredients? Well, go- are you a guest or are you a host? Uh, yeah, there's a couple of ways to determine that right off the bat. Is it a surprise party? Uh, mm-hmm. Then you're probably the guest because mm-hmm. you didn't know what was happening. Um, uh, how did you get invited? Uh, did you? Why, why didn't you get invited? Even more importantly, maybe well, that's a, uh, maybe you're the person that the only person that's not there of all of your friends. There's chapter upon chapter of that. Well, that's Most a big of it's issue. Written from experience. Pardon me. No, that's a big issue. I mean, when getting left out. Well, or, why didn't oh, I get invited? Am right. I not friendly enough? Why don't people like me? What am I wearing? Mm-hmm. Uh, do I smile when people smile back at me, or do I not smile at all? Mm-hmm. Maybe I'm the one that they're trying to avoid. Maybe it's a surprise party, but the surprise is I'm not invited. Well, that would be a, a surprise. How to deal with that kind of pressure? Right. How to deal with that kind of stress? How so, to how to how to cope with it? How do you make eye contact that next Monday morning? Well, this is an emotion, and that's all they're talking about in the lunchroom. Right. What was she wearing? What was he wearing? Did you see them? They right. those two went off in the closet. Mm-hmm. They had a little fling. You weren't even there. Mm-hmm. You weren't invited. So how, how do you, come? Well, this is now. This is an emotional. I time. don't know. It's an emotional time of the year. How do you? How? What advice do you give to people? How do you deal with the stress of not being invited to a party or hearing about it afterwards? Well, there's lots of ways. Okay. I I've had to. I've actually, in my experience, mm-hmm. asking me. Yes. In my experience, I've uh, I've actually I've actually just quit work oh. and went moved on. Okay. Let it go. You know. One of the other things, a lot of people come up to me, mm-hmm. and this is uh, since we're talking about your problems and whatnot and things, your experiences, what if you're asked to leave the party? Oh, yeah. 
What if you're at a party and someone comes up and says, we're going to have to ask you to leave? Well, that's, that wouldn't Well, you mean... have the right to know why. Sure. You might ask yourself, did I break something? Mm-hmm. No. D- am I stealing? Maybe it's, a, maybe it's an, accident, an oversight. Did I linger too long at the buffet table? D- did you? I don't know. Are your clothes on? Okay. Do I have my clothes on? Mm-hmm. Um, are, the, are, are the police on the way, or, or are they here? These are things you need to know. These are all good these questions. Are, pardon, pardon? These, are all, uh, these are all good questions, uh, Don. But the book is about finding the answers, and I'm glad you brought that up. Well, that's great. Well, can we move on to the office party? Now, that is something a lot of us... Uh, <laughs> Well, that wasn't really a joke, but I mean, people have uh, go to office parties or business parties at this time of year. Sometimes people drink too much, and uh, maybe they don't behave the way they should be in a business situation. You have any advice for people in how to maneuver the uh, holiday business party? Well, I've been to a party where things got so wild, so crazy, mm-hmm. so uh, that three people s- uh, switched sexual preferences that night. Wow. That's that's a party. That's a party. That's one you want to get invited to. Mhm. Because after a couple of cocktails, I don't know if you uh, know anything about uh, things begin to seem different. Right. Things changed. People that weren't quite as good looking an hour ago are looking pretty good right now. Right. And as the clock ticks on and the time goes by, uh, those little uh, mechanisms we may use in the work environment dissipate. Mm-hmm. And what was once your boss is now your best friend. Uh, once what, what, who was uh, the, the manager is, you know, you know, is half naked. Mm-hmm. Things get crazy. And coping and dealing with it, uh, that, following that party is sometimes problematic. How do you apologize? Apologizing is a big part of the party situation. I've devoted uh, probably three feet of shelf space just on the apology. Uh, how to apo- How to write a po- an apology? It's good to have a good apology during this. And then you're going to need somebody to clean up your Facebook page or your oh. social media network. That oh, stuff yeah. stays on there forever. <laughs> right. To go back and try to yeah tell you. straighten that out. Well, Don, thank you for <laughs> it. so any any parting words of wisdom uh, you can leave us with uh, for the holiday season here. Get happy. Okay. Get happy. Okay. Yeah. It's the holidays. Get happy. Get happy. Don't be, be a gloomy Gus. Get happy. Right. Gosh darn it. Well, we'll okay. See, thank we'll you. See, you. You're you bet. Thank thank you very Bye-bye. much. Bye bye. You've been listening to O'Brien and Bolt, the podcast. I'm Michael O'Brien. And I'm Jeff Bolt. And our job is to entertain as well as inform. You know, if you like what you heard today, please give us a big thumbs up on your source for all your podcasts. And you can find us on Facebook at O'Brien and Bolt. Thanks.